I'm Steve Dahmer. This is Hockey Skills, a video for Foothill High School's ROP Digital Media class. This video is going to demonstrate various hockey skills, including shooting, the wrist shot, slap shot, snap shot, and backhand, as well as some passing, forehand, saucer pass, and backhand, and uh, how to get out of trouble when the puck's in your skates. So uh, let's get started. The first type of shot is a wrist shot. And the wrist shot is when you have control of the puck up against the blade of your stick and you fling it along. From that point with your wrist, there's a side view and then we'll do a slow motion shot. Notice the puck is up against the blade of the stick and then shot forward. There's a couple of attempts at a shot on goal with the goaltender. Doing a wrist shot. Another shot. That was out the post. This goaltender actually was pretty good. Another type of shot is the slap shot. On a slap shot, you pretty much take a full wind up to the puck and the blade will come up to the shoulders or even up to the head in the back and it's a full force shot. Slap shots are usually taken from further out and oftentimes defensemen take them. There's one shot at the goaltender and another. And this goaltender was actually pretty good and I figured um, there's got to be a way to beat this guy to score a goal. And one way was to wait till he was taking a break, and then I could shoot on empty net. Another type of shot is called the snap shot, where the blade is going to make an impact with the puck, starting from behind the puck. A little bit so it's unlike a wrist shot where the puck is on the blade the snapshot starts with the blade back from the puck a little bit and then you strike it coming forward much like a slap shot but the blade of your stick does not come up as high last type of shot I'm going to demo is the backhand shot. On the backhand shot, um, being a left-sided player, I would take the puck and bring it back toward my right side and in a backwards motion, send it toward the net. So here I'm taking it to my right and then I'm bringing it back on a shot for a backhand shot. And again, this goaltender was pretty good. This uh, stick time, so I figured um, maybe I could just sneak one in there without him knowing I'm coming, and that's how I got my goal. Kind of felt good about myself there. Passing is pretty basic to understand. Just a forward pass. This next one is a saucer pass, and I'll explain that in a second. And then the third of three I'm showing in this clip would be a backhand pass, which is the same as a backhand shot in motion, just passing it. Now that saucer pass, I'll do another one here, is when the puck leaves the ice for a little bit, and here's a slow-mo version of that. Notice the puck is going to go a few inches up off the ice on the way over to my teammate, and that's a great way of getting the puck 
across from distance when there might be some defenseman in the way, some opponents that might try to steal that puck. So if you flick it up in the air a little bit, it's a lot harder to intercept that puck. And here's another example of that backhand pass. The last skill I'm going to demo is when the puck ends up in your skates. It's too close to your body for your stick to um, handle it without repositioning your whole self. So notice on this pass, the puck is coming in toward my right skate a little bit. So I angled my skate, let the puck deflect into position so I can play with my stick. Keep an eye on me here. I had to go into a crowd of players because of the deflected puck. So here I am going across right in the middle of the rink, and a pass comes over to me a little bit behind me. So I let it bounce off my right skate, and here it is again. Instead of trying to stop and maneuver to get the puck, I let it bounce off my skate, and I deflect it up toward uh, the area in front of me so I can control it and then make a pass. Finally, sometimes when you're stick handling it, if uh, you lose control of the puck, as I do right here, I just use my skate. If I know where the puck is, I can use my skate to push it forward. As I'm doing that replay right there. Sometimes the puck might get caught in a little bit of water or some debris on the ice. And uh, or you just lose control of it, as it happened there.